It's okay to start over. When I closed my shop in August of 2022, I had no idea at that moment what I was going to do. I had put in my notice of 30 days and of course being the procrastinator that I am and not wanting to face reality, I waited till the last minute and had to move out and pull an all-nighter within the last two days. My landlord was on my ass and she wanted me out. She had already rented the location out to a new tenant. So I had to move out in a hurry. I literally threw away tons of good, I guess you could say stuff that I had collected over the years, stuff in boxes that was brand new that I knew I was never gonna use that I had collected over the years. I put everything that I thought I could use or that was of value and that belonged to me or maybe family members that were storing stuff at my shop and put all that in storage and then I had already got rid of all customer cars. I'd called them at the beginning of that 30 day period and I made sure that everybody got their vehicles back with all their parts or whatever belonged to them. At that point, I had literally no idea what I was gonna do. I was still bartending and DJing at the time, part-time. And my sister let me crash on her couch. Of course, I gave her some rent money. My credit was shot at that point. I had no credit because once I ruined my credit early on in my business of 20 years, I just started buying everything cash. Luckily, I didn't get, I didn't go into any more debt, so I really had no credit. So fast forward, at this point I was already seeing my girl and we were getting serious first relationship I'd had in six years serious relationship I had dated and had girlfriends here and there I didn't want anything serious but I was basically starting over and it was scary and refreshing because I didn't have that weight on my shoulders of the shop and having to deal with all the customers and the cars that weren't paying and I also didn't have to worry about overhead so that was that was super refreshing and lifted a weight off my shoulders but I still had no idea exactly what I was going to do I knew that I wanted to continue DJing and I did that for almost about a year. I ended up stopping DJing in July of 2023. So about a year ago. And like I said, I was already seeing my girl. I was crashing on my sister's couch. And we ended up moving into this place in November of 2023. Take that back. In November of 2022. So, prior to that though, I had no idea what I was going to do. Everything that I had manifested over that period of like five years prior. Because I always knew that I wanted to build lowriders way back when until I got burned out of the car business altogether. One of my clients, if you know my story, asked me to come and build cars solely for him. He has a collection of cars and he has the means to, to do the cars. So I ended up 
when I knew that I wanted to move in with my girl and get off my sister's couch, I ended up contacting him and we worked out a deal so that I can come and build cars for him. And that's where I'm at now. There's nothing wrong with starting over, especially if you're unhappy and you're not being fulfilled at your career, job, whatever you want to call it. There's nothing wrong with starting at the bottom. Sometimes the pressure of where you're at now can be too much, especially if you hate what you're doing or you're not happy where you're at. The pressure of that can be relieved by starting over. I know it's easy to say because obviously if you're up in age like myself you have responsibilities you have a family but there's always a way out there's always a way out and never think that you're stuck nobody is completely stuck where they're at with enough planning and enough action steps taken I believe you can truly get out of any bad situation in the quantum realm or quantum timeline or quantum field of possibilities there's a version of you that's already living the dream life that you want you just have to get out of your own way and you have to figure out how to let go of the old parts of you that you don't want anymore, all the attachments to all the things that you don't want, all the people that you really don't want in your life. And once you do that, life can happen very fast. Also, visualization has been an important tool in my life if you can close your eyes and you can see it and you can more importantly feel it, the faster you will manifest the life that you want. I'm going to end this video with that. If you are getting some value from these videos, an easy way to support the channel is to hit that subscribe, like and notification bell. I have to tell you that. I appreciate everybody that's been watching and commenting and subscribing, liking. I'll catch you on the next video. Sounds like a 5.0. I'm out. Oh, it's got a cam. All right. I'm out. <laughs> Later.